Hello mga kababayan, welcome to my channel, welcome to laruan ni Obi-Wan In this afternoon's review, we are going to do an unboxing from Big Bad Toy Store So this is not a sponsored review, this is something that I pre-ordered last year So finally, I have this figure on board for us to take a look at first hand So this is me taking this action figure out of packaging for the first time so what do we have so we're ready to review the 20 years marvel legends hulk action figure so let's do a quick 360 of the figure while it is still in packaging. So for those who are interested in the bio material, so there it is. So for those who are interested in the product code, so there it is. So let's open this figure up. Okay, so let's inspect the contents of our purchase. So just like the 20 years Captain America action figure, we have a display stand of some sort that is reversible. So we have another image on the back. But since the Hulk is a very um, big action figure, I don't think that this um, backdrop would really be nice to use with this action figure since it's going to be really, really small. Anyway, but still a good addition to our purchase. So we have the action figure. We have the Mandroid head sculpt. We have an alternate head sculpt of um, Hulk, of course. We have the action figure. And we still have alternate hands on the back and a display um, diorama piece of some sort if you don't wish to use this stand. So this Hulk action figure has got to be one of the uh, nicest smelling action figures that I have taken out of packaging as a YouTube toy reviewer. So out of packaging, he smells like a um, vanilla mixed with alcohol. Um, actually, it really smells good even if we have an image of a blasted uh, gutter. So we could just imagine that this guy came out of there but out of packaging you could really not resist um, smelling this guy for quite some time so, okay so let's um, do articulation on this action figure so for the head area um, because of how this area is constructed and look at how thick that hair is so from the side you know that gazing upwards would be a chore so not much on the gazing upwards on gazing downwards we only have that much so this guy really has a very short neck so even if you quite pull the head upwards we still don't have that gazing upward motion so very limited on the head area but that doesn't hinder articulation for sideways and little bit of knocking the head sidewards as for the body area on this uh, portion we have a uh, uh, cut on the waistline for circulation we have a ball for articulation on the diaphragm so really smooth that is out of the box no heated uh, no heat was applied to this action figure i didn't dunk this dunk this into hot water or used a um, hair blower so this is an out of the box experience of this action figure okay so for tilts so that is much tilt that we have for the body 
tilts backward that is the match tilt so I'm or actually holding on to the hip and both legs so as not to um, articulate this area over here so as to sideways movement we have a little bit of sideways movement now let's go to the arms area so for the arms we have butterfly joints so that is how wide those butterfly joints would go but not not much for the forward area so when you move those arms forward this way we don't have any butterfly articulation here so i would have wanted but more butterfly articulation point over here but anyway that is going to break the really nice uh, scalp of the hulk body so anyway that is uh, still okay so for rotation of the arms that is really possible we have rotation of the biceps we only have a single point of articulation for the elbow but we have do we have yes we have still an articulation point on that elbow of course we have a hinge for the hand and we have an alternate set of hands so you if you wish to have an open hand or a fist you could swap out handsets so rotation is okay not hindered the swivel is okay not hindered it is nicely soft and flowing articulation so for the leg area you could move the leg this much sidewards that much two points of articulation for the knee do we have a nope so we don't have shin rotation but for the foot area we have rocker and a hinge or swivel so this is a really nice articulating figure so let's go towards the dimensions of this action figure so let's put it at the center of this rotating stand and let's take out the tape measure so for the width that is about 5.25 inches for height this figure stands at around 8.5 inches so depends on just how you stand it if you want this action figure hunched over you're going to diminish the total height especially if you're going to bend the knees this way so you're going to diminish total height but if you're really going to stand this action figure as in a parade dress so really straight up that's going to be 8.5 inches so as for details of the action figure i leave i really love the uh, color uh, the combination of color the head sculpt and even if we don't have uh, compared to the 80 years um hulk figure that we have um, some kind of accessory of a uh, torn out shirt that is draped over the figure um, well that is something that you could actually customize if you wish but just for a base Hulk action figure a green um, monster like this this is what you want so let's first swap out the hands because of course majority of the time hulk won't be um with splayed hands like this relaxed hands is going to be on both fists so for those of you who are interested in finding out the articulation on the head sculpt that is the articulation point so let's swap out the head scalp on this action figure from this one to this one.
so actually swapping parts is light and breezy with this action figure really not much effort is needed so here he is with that alternate head scalp is just warming up for a rumble look but at the same time this guy is really ready to do business so yep i was wrong so i thought that majority of the time i'm going to use this head scalp actually this head scalp is nice looking too so even if with the fists on i thought that i would be majority of the time would be using these fists with this head scalp but actually i really like this head more with the fist but actually it really depends per a reviewer or per action figure collector as to your preference so switch heads as you like but as for this thing the uh, this uh, this accessory piece well that is something that you could just put on the floor if you don't have a mandroid figure and let him step on it but if you just wish to just um, display this action figure without that head it is also possible so um, for the price point that you pay almost $50 for this action figure is it worth the purchase if you already have the 80 years anniversary Hulk I think that uh, you're already well off with that but if you don't have any green hulk action figure on board in your collection then this is a welcome piece or if you are a hulk fanatic then this is a welcome piece to add to your collection but personally i don't believe in um dual action figure having dual action figures on board just one per per version would do so this is a welcome help to my um, action figure collection so let's do a quick 360 of the action figure so we could take a really close look at the details that uh, this action figure would offer us collectors so let's compare this action figure with the other Hulk action figures that I have on board but uh, as for last uh, note and to the details or articulation of this figure really nice shade violet on the pants we have um, torn pieces the mimicking torn pieces of the cloth that he has underneath um, really nice shading on the body really nice head sculpt even the eyes are evenly painted the teeth are nicely painted we don't have any paint splashes overlays or over paint yeah in areas of the body it is a nice evenly painted action figure so far the copy that I have we I don't have any QC issues so and last point as for the knee area this is a very heavy action figure i'm happy to note that that is a very solid piece of a knee so it's going to support the weight of the action figure when you let this stand on board with your other marvel legends action figure so you don't have that fear of domino effect when this is on board at your display stand so let's compare this action figure with the others uh, other hulk action figures that i have on board just for comparison purpose so we have the uh, compound hulk with the 20 years hulk action figure so as you could see these two actually share the same body it just differently painted so the tears are the same on the action on these two action figures the um, pants also are the same especially the tear on the edges they share the same edges they share the same fists they share the same torso 
actually everything the body but the only difference between this and this would be the head scalps so the compound hulk would have a some kind of smaller head scalp compared to the 20 years so from the back you could see that actually they are just the same figure so same butterfly hinges same tear on the pants same height and as you could see the similarities in this area so anyway but if you're really looking for a green hulk action figure this is a really good purchase so even if you don't have already have two face on board it is still okay to have the green goblin to add to your collection so let's move to another um, action figure to compare with so we have the gamer verse gray hulk and the 20 years green hulk so as you could see the points in difference with regards to bulk of the action figure this gray at uh, this green hulk is a bigger action figure compared to the gamer verse hulk so this is going this has always been my go-to hulk now that i have a green hulk on board this is going to my avengers display so this is go this guy is going to take a vacation from standing on the display stand for quite some time so let's take him out of the picture and let's have this guy center stage so for almost 50 dollars of your purchase finally worth it or not worth it i could say it is worth it for of course um, in my case this is my first green hulk to own in my collection as a youtube content creator so i'm really just happy to finally have this on board even i've waited for quite a really long time on pre-order with big bad toy store so if you like this video like comment and subscribe and see you on the next action figure review